Moving on to the first question. Explicit trigonometric ratios sin a, secant a, and tan a in terms of cot a. Now moving on to the solution. In order to express one trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratio, we have three identities that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So by using these three identities we can convert one trigonometric ratio into other. Now let us initially consider the conversion of sin a in terms of cot a. In order to convert sin a in terms of cot a, let us consider the identity which suits the conversion of sin a in terms of cot a easily. If, if we observe the third identity, we have the identity in terms of cosecant and cot. So it is easy for us to convert cosecant into sin by using the formula that cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta. So instead of theta here we have a. So let us apply the third identity and cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta and by applying those two formulas let us obtain sin a in terms of cot. So considering the third identity that is cosecant square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 which implies cosecant square a can be written as 1 by sin a whole square which is nothing but 1 by sin square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 that implies 1 by sin square a is equal to by transposing minus cot square a into right hand side we get 1 plus cot square a on right hand side which implies sin square a let us transpose sin square a from left hand side to right hand side that becomes sin square a is equal to 1 by 1 plus cot square a. Now by applying the square root on both sides we get sin a is equal to 1 by under root of 1 plus cot square a. Now let us express secant a in terms of cot a. In order to express secant a in terms of cot a, it is better to consider secant, t secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one identity as secant square theta is already available and if we could express tan theta in terms of cot, it is possible for us to establish a relation between secant theta and cot theta that is by considering the identity that is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and replacing theta with a we get secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 which implies secant square a minus tan square a can be written as 1 by cot a whole square which is nothing but 1 by cot square a as tan a is equal to 1 by cot a that implies secant square a is equal to 1 plus 1 by cot square a now by taking lcm as cot square a we get the expression as cot square a plus 1 by cot square a that implies now by applying square root on both sides we get secant a is equal to square root of 1 plus cot square a divided by cot a and he also asked us to express tan a in terms of cot a which is nothing but 1 by cot a we know it moving on to the second sum 
write all the other trigonometric ratios of a in terms of secant a now moving on to solution he asked us to express sin cos tan cot secant and cosecant in terms of secant a so in order to express one trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratio we shall use the following identities that is sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 one thing and secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 other identity and finally cosecant square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 is the three identities which we use to convert one trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratio so first let us consider sine a and express it in terms of secant a so in order to express sine a in terms of secant a let us consider the first identity so that sin a is already a term and if we are able to express cos a in terms of secant a then the calculation would be made easy and also we know that cos a is equal to 1 by secant a so by applying the first identity and cos a is equal to 1 by secant a we can express sin a in terms of secant a so by considering the identity that is sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 which implies sin square a plus cos square a can be written as 1 by secant a whole square which is nothing but 1 by secant square a which is equal to 1 that implies sin square a let us make it as subject that will be equal to 1 minus 1 by secant square a now let us take secant square a as lcm then the numerator becomes secant square a minus 1 so finally we got the expression as sin square a is equal to secant square a minus 1 by secant square a which implies sin a let us apply the square root on right hand side then the expression becomes secant square a minus 1 by square root of secant square a which is nothing but secant a and secondly let us express cos a in terms of secant a which we know as cos a is equal to 1 by secant a now let us express the tan a in terms of secant a that is tan a is nothing but we know sin a by cos a which will be equal to sin a we obtained it as secant square a minus 1 by secant a whole divided by 1 by secant a as we obtained the cos a so as in the denominator of the numerator we have secant a and denominator of the denominator we have secant a that will be cancelled out and we are just left out with square root of secant square a minus 1 and let us also express cosecant in terms of secant a that is cosecant a is equal to we know that cosecant a is nothing but 1 by sin a so which will be equal to 1 by sin a we obtained it as secant square a minus 1 square root by secant a so that will be equal to secant a by square root of secant square a minus 1 